morning students welcome again to the last video of this third unit that is line and staff relationship we will understand the departments which are comes under line and the departments which are comes under staff and their relationship conflict we will try to understand in this video So line and staff are the names to different types of functions in organization. Line functions which are live or active functions and the staff functions are the supportive functions. Departments are supportive functions. So a line function is one that directly advances an organization in its core work. Manufacturing organization so main uh, organ main department is production department so it is line that is comes under line organization or line function then come to this staff this always production and sales sometimes also marketing production sales marketing are the field ones active ones that's why they are called as line functions and a staff function supports the organization which with specialized advisory and support support functions for example hr accounting pr public relations legal advisory department are considered to be staff functions so where there is a chair job is there that is that will be the staff function where there is a act to that is production marketing and sales these are com comes under line functions both are important to the organization so the terms are originated from military field soldiers also are there and some of the departments are advisory strategy accounts and accounts as well as legal these are the departments where they at one place stay at one place but the military people those who are active in war those are on active in the war those are, these are called as line and the chair jobs are called as those staff functions hierarchy origin and definition of line and staff military type organization structure commonly employed in large and centralized corporation so every department as we studied earlier production will be there sometimes some of the organization even marketing is there sales is there and in the same organization there is a possibility of accounts section accounts department hr department and these are the compulsory organizations finance department legal advisory department okay purchase department little bit big the larger organizations have different different uh, uh, functions so these are also employed in large organizations the line hierarchy with the departments are revenue generators manufacturing marketing and selling and their managers are responsible for achieving the organization main objectives by executing the key functions such as policy making target setting decision making so line functions are line functions these are the revenue generation functionaries examples are manufacturing marketing selling these managers are responsible for achieving the organizational main objective what is the organizational main objective profit how it is possible increasing the sales how sales can be increased by increasing the marketing strategies or marketing locations or areas and how if the market is increasing production has to be increased or not that's why these managers are 
responsible for achieving the organizational objectives. Then coming to the staff hierarchy. These departments are revenue consumers. Accounts department, okay, there is no direct productivity, but it supports indirect. Finance department, cost, costing department, okay, legal advisory department, all these are the revenue consumers and their managers are responsible for activities that support line functions. So these people will give advices and legal support to the line functions such as accounting, maintenance, personal management. While both the hierarchies have their own chain of command. In line hierarchy, there is a chain of command is there general manager, production manager, supervisor and foreman, worker like that. And it is also staff hierarchy, manager, general manager, manager accounts, accounting clerks like that. And a line manager may have direct control over the staff. Both the hierarchies have their own channels of command. Line manager may have direct control over the staff employees. But the staff managers may not have such power over the line employees. Okay, line employees are having the control on staff employees, but the staff employees does not have control on line employees. In modern practice, the difference in two hierarchies is not so clear and the job often have elements of both types of functions. So, who has to control, who has to abide, depends upon the department and the organization. So that's why they will, that will be vary from organization to organization. So look at, okay, this the uh, chief executive officer is having marketing manager, production manager, finance manager and uh, production manager is having four men, three four men and their workers. So this production department is supported with the legal advisory department. Legal advisory department is giving, giving advices or services to the marketing, production and finance. So chief executive officer, marketing manager, production manager, finance manager, four men, worker, this is the line organization which is a straight line, okay. And the broken lines are the staff organizations where they are providing advices to the other functionaries, line functionaries. So each has a different role and clarifying the same avoids, avoids functional dilemmas. Every department have their own role. And the relationship between the two is interesting. The line is considered as an action guys, the sleeves rolled up types and the staff are viewed as the chair bound support for. Okay, you, you just check about the military which we took as example. Strategy department is there. They never go anywhere, any, any, they never go into the field. And the strategy department first will assess the place where they are going to war and how they have to approach towards the enemy, what they should have to be act when the things happen. Everything the strategy was given explained to the people those who are going for war. So line people are the action guys and the staff people are the chair bound guys. They, they are the supporting folk. Then coming to the individual, you will understand what is line. Line structure consists of direct vertical relationship which connects the position and task of each level with those above and below it. Okay, take the example of you see, manager, production manager Below he is having link with the four, four men. Above he is a uh, authorized person to 
report or pay, give feedback to the chief executive officer. So, the staff officers are having the link between the subordinate people as well as the superior people itself. It represents the structure in direct virtual relationship through which authority travels. Authority travels from top to bottom. In the same manner, line organization also travels, the authority travels from top to bottom. Then coming to the advantages of line organization, clear cut relationship. They, in the in in the organizational chart itself, they will mention the relationship between superior and subordinate, and the unity of command is possible through this vertical type of organizational setup, that is line organization, prompt decision making. The superior people are um, responsible for taking the decisions as per the rules provide. So that's why they will provide the decision or they will give the information very quick, effective coordination. There is the hierarchy itself is indicating to whom they have to report, give feedback, work under them, they know very well. Okay? Fixed responsibility. If the war is if the war was defeated, then the war in charge or the commander who is guiding that uh, team battalion is responsible. So that's how they, it is possible to, to fix the responsibility. And another one is uh, discipline. Okay, these are the advantages of line organization. Then disadvantages of line organization are difficulty in staffing, concentration of authority. So one person, uh, vertical type, uh, then the authority is uh, concentrating in the hands of the superiors. Lack of specialization. They were expertise in their operations only. Military people, they can work uh, as a war heads, war. They can, they have knowledge in field work, that's all. But they don't have knowledge in uh, making the strategies, implementing vigilance, communication, different uh, Activities are there, but they are not known about those activities. Specialization is not possible. Instability, poor motivation, ineffective communication as we understood earlier is not useful for larger enterprises. Line organization is useful for small type of enterprises. Then coming to the staff organization. Second one is a staff organization, which is a Supporting organization. It provides expert advice on important matters, enables line people to work more efficiently, cannot directly issue orders to subordinates in line department. So, person of the organization who provides advice and service to line. You take the legal department. Legal department is at one place and which will study the legalities or legal provisions to market their product in a particular country. So they will study that legal formalities of that country and advise, advise the line organizations to do their job. For example, Amway is one company very long back, it came with the direct marketing concept. Direct marketing concept. But uh, in India, MLM, multi-level marketing is banned. Multi-level marketing, the example is, I am the agent of Amway, then I will buy the products and I can give the, make the members of three people. So these three people again make the people of three like that the chain, chain continues. That is banned in Telangana or integrated on the Pradesh. So later, 
it, the staff department was not properly guided the line department of amway so they then government of Ind government of telangana maybe i think government of india approached legally where such a mlm concept was banned so now there is no direct marketing of amway like um, earlier method 1 is to 3 now the people are marketing with the according to the their strategy where it is not used by many companies okay so provides expert advice on important matters staff organization job is to give support support and advice so they will provide the advice when there is when there is important issues enables line people to work more efficiently when the like and staff people work on the suppose salaries payment okay salaries were paid in time then the people in all over all over the organization they work they work for that and also enables line people to work for work for more efficiently so line and legal department will advise the local marketing department or sales department to penetrate into the market and sell their products into the, in the market itself enables line people to work more efficiently accounts department properly funding the marketing production and uh, sales departments then automatically they will work cannot directly issue orders to subordinates in line department even though manager senior manager in uh, uh, accounts department he cannot directly insist the people or the workers who are working in staff department they feel staff department are the poles of their organization. And coming to the advantages of post staff organization, one is specialization, second one is growth and expansion, lesser burden on line executives. Because they will concentrate on marketing and sales. But they know they need not to concentrate on accounts, finance, legal, all this. This a separate department is there that is a staff park. Better additions, training of line executives, advancement of research. These are the advantages of a line organization. Disadvantages of sorry, staff organization are different orientation you know different different people will be there conflict between line and staff who is the best one or who is the bigger one who is having the hold on company most of the time line people will argue that they are at income generators lack of responsibility lack of coordination lack of reliance on staff and costly structure. These are the disadvantages to staff organization. Look here that works manager who are supporting sub superintendent as well as a time clerk and also in engineer, root clerk and workers. So here which is root clerk is a Supporting the superintendent and engineer is supported by time and time and cost clerk. Okay, both all are working under one manager. Line and staff relations. Basically, organizations are tight knit, tightly knit together by the code of authority relationship. And whatever the way 
structuring and organization. Most of the organizations are built with the relationship, built with the relationship. And such authority relationship act as a cohesive force and integrate the whole organization. The types and degree of authority vary with the decision making levels. Different authority and staff relationship, line and staff relationship, line and staff relations refer to a pattern in which staff specialists advise line managers to perform their duties. So, different authority relationship revolve around the line and staff relations. All both the departments, line department as well as the staff department, they have their own duties. And the line and staff relationship relation refers to a pattern which staff specialist advise the managers to perform their duties. Okay, so that is supportive department. Staff department. Okay. And line managers are responsible for number one, formulation of objectives, plans, and uh, policies. Usually, line managers are the field managers. They know the pulse of the consumer and based on that, they will advise to change the product or to change the formula and to change the flavor. Everything uh, usually look after by the line organizations. Making decisions for the implementation of plans and the policies and uh, attainment of line organizations are used or organizations are helpful in attaining the organizational objectives. Providing supervision, relationship, achieving coordination and exercising control. Okay, and when we are studying about uh, this line organization, this line organization provide supervision and leadership. Supervision and leadership as well as coordination. Then coming to the staff organizations or staff managers are responsible for advice, help, guide the line managers in the department of above functions. Yes, staff, staff functions are the advisory functions. They help the line managers provide specified administrative services. Accounts department will provide account services. And another one is uh, HR department will provide only the services of HR. So they are expertised in their field. In interpret objective plans and uh, policies. HR department will by heart our organization pol policies and will inform to the line people, line workers to achieve them. Okay. Make the best tools available for the implementation of plans and uh, policies. Helps in the selection and training of employees and uh, make sure organizational effectives are achieved or not. Okay, that is a staff organization. Line and, line and staff conflict. Conflict. So, line and staff relationship is based on the assumption that both support each other and work harmoniously to achieve organizational objectives. In, in, to understand marketing manager, marketing team have to go to the field and market the products to increase the sales. In same manner, HR department as well as accounts department, they have to look after the marketing department in the case of advice. There are frequent instances of conflict between the line and staff organizations. Conflict will be everywhere, but uh, due to execution of functions and there will be a possibility of a conflict between line and staff. 
This generates lot of friction and loss of time and consequentially loss of organizational effectiveness. So every day this is a habit, this is a habit habituated to habituated then automatically possibility of loss and loss of time is possible as well as uh, then coming to the conflict conflict and then to take decisions decisions according to overcome the problem of conflict okay if such conflict arises and they will both the managers will come together to resolve the conflict these relations are often characterized more by conflict conflict than cooperation these relations are often characterized by characterized more by often staff specialists complain that line managers are resistant to their ideas and line managers complain that staff managers are sky gazing specialists so usually people those who are generating income little bit egoistic that they are the pillars of the organization where the people of staff organization they don't know anything and simply they are they sit at the office and they are going that is their perception arguments of line staff line officers against the staff officers cadre wise both are officers only but uh, there are some differences or arguments if we are opting both staff officers have only theoretical knowledge staff line officers are the field people they know everything but the staff officers are, will know about uh, only general entries ledger accounts file balance final accounts Okay, so they don't have knowledge how they are generating income. Much of the advice given is impractical because they are not responsible for the results. Much of the advice given is uh, impractical because they are then they take into account only the department's goal, not the organizational goal as a whole itself. And we have to. prepare a goal of the organization as a whole and staff officers blame the line officers staff officers blame line officers when failures happen whereas are keen on getting the credit for success marketing sales were increased then they we try to hijack the credit from the staff office line staff officers and arguments of the staff officers are against the line line officers are completely neglect the advice given by the by the officers line officers are line officers are ready to ask any advice from the staff officer okay then this is a video which we understood about line and staff relationship and we completed this unit 3 here it is definition and example hierarchy then diagrammatic presentation of structures line and staff organizational structures difference between line and staff line about line advantages disadvantages about staff advantages disadvantages and now 
ओके ओके स्टूडेंट्स बाय टेक केयर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट स्टाफिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके बाय स्टूडेंट्स